Hey guys, John with Off Grid Homesteading. We are getting the dump truck aired up uh, to take into a local service center. Did a little bit of trade with um, one of the uh, uh, car service centers here in town and um, they're gonna help us get this thing up and running. So, uh, yep, just did a website over there and uh, they we needed a holly car, needed to get the thing running, get it all working good. So what better place than the experts that worked on Fords and old classic cars. So this should be a piece of cake for them. They found an extra holly carb um, at their house. And uh, with between my carb that's here and the, the one that they have, they figured we can at least get a working one. So hopefully we'll have a working dump truck here in the next week or two. So anyway, that's all that's going on the homestead today. It's cold. It's like 20 degrees. Uh, highs in the 40s, mid 40s, maybe uh, low 50s, and uh, we're getting ready. We're just at sourcing our uh, building materials, the last of the stuff we need to go ahead and get the uh, build started. And then as soon as it has a little bit of warm turn, we're gonna pull that bump out out of the trailer and get that going. So anyway, hope you guys are doing well. Just a quick update for you, just if you're wondering why we haven't made any more uh, videos lately. So that's it. Talk to you later. Bye. So we didn't even make it out of the driveway before the chain snapped. So now they've run, decided to use the straps. Are you using the straps now, honey? Yep. Because you broke our, our chain? Snapped it. He actually said he just moved the end to a different location. That's what he did. So now, two straps. And please let this work. Please, please, Don't do this at home. I should probably give that that aside, that warning. Don't try this at home, kids. They're not the same length. So the first hurdle is making it through our gate and onto the road with a big enough turn that we don't, I don't know what. So this is not something I should be watching, right? There they go. There they go. Oh my gosh. Okay. We're on the road. On the road again. I'll do more while we're heading out down this hill. I'll show you the big hill. We call it Suicide Hill around here. I'm going to try to record us going up this big hill. I don't know if this dust will get too bad. And if I can stay far enough off to the side so if anything happens, I'm not behind it when they're pulling it. This is what they call Suicide Hill. In the summer, or like right now during the drought, it's super dry and it's like marbles on the floor, the rock is. And um, during the wet, it's pretty gnarly too. So, we'll see if we can make it up. I should get a good picture of them going around.
incline. Dusty, I can't see, I'm sure. I'm just glad no one else is coming down the road right now. There's the last of it. Are we gonna make it? Oh, yes! This should be the hardest part of the journey. John did was he bartered out with the Christian Brother um, Auto Repair Place. He built them a website and did their Google 360 and got them on the maps, which is where everybody looks to find anybody. And so they gave us a credit and they're going to fix the dump truck. They've already fixed our Montero by putting in a heater core and they'll be putting in a windshield wiper and other things into our um, blue truck, our farm truck. So it is awesome, the ability to barter and have skills that other people want so you can um, fix up your homestead and make it all work with less money than you thought you needed. Okay, guys. Uh, keep watching. We'll keep you up to date. Thanks. We're on the highway. Heading out. I have my flashers on. Following behind. I'll give you an idea of the road we're going to be going on. It's curvy. It's curvy like all the roads out here. You go six miles and it takes you almost 20 minutes. And that's without any traffic or going slow. Out here, you don't really have to follow the speed limit because the speed limit is set by the curves in the road and you just can't go fast, period. So, They'll tell you how long it's going to take you to get there, not how many miles away it is, because that messes with your mind. It's based upon how long it takes you to go. Oh, we're being passed. On double line roads. With hills everywhere. That's kind of scary. I don't think I would have done that, but he did. Okay, I'm going to concentrate on driving now. There you have it. One of our big S curves. Deb became our neighbors. They have about the same mindset as us. We're going to help them build their house. They're going to help us build ours. They're no longer just neighbors. They're like our best friends. We love them. When they come up and work, we get to eat together on Saturday, maybe go out and get a pizza, or we just cook at home, and we get to watch TV. So they're the crazy ones who actually want to hang with us and I can't say enough good stuff about them. We've made some awesome friends up here. It's such a wonderful lifestyle. 
and it's good to be able to do things and fix things and I'm so glad John's brain works that way that he can figure out how to repair just about anything um, now we're going downhill hope there's no tapping going on bumper to bumper you know what I mean Ron and Mindy, they just sold their house. Not sure what they're going to be doing. Love them to death, too. You know, life is good. Even when you're doing crazy things like this. Maybe it's even better when you're doing crazy things like this. And you're figuring things out. Using your brain. And not your wallet. You know? There are solutions to problems that cost you lots of money and you can solve them or there are solutions that cost you time, energy, and good friends and I think those are the best. ride home when we go into town and I'm grateful every time I drive out and I drive back in and it's just beautiful even at this time of year in a row. jokes that with the backhoe from Paul and Deb and with our dump truck we can almost have an excavating business but it'll sure save our backs at the house we need to get gravel in on our driveway we need to bring haul in all sorts of stuff for both of our houses so we should be in really good shape John, actually, he would like to add a bulldozer. Ooh. A bulldozer is the next thing. But, um, I gotta show you as we round the curve up here on the left. It's a place called Cooper Mountain. Okay. There it is. You can see Cooper Mountain right there. And Mr. Cooper puts together the most incredible things like the spaceship. See it? With the UFOs. Better watch the road now. Okay. Back to watching the road. But he builds incredible fun stuff. He even built a cannon that works.
almost to the main highway. And then it's just more of this. All right, guys.